I was okay. And sometimes I asked it three or four, maybe even five times on a given day. And given enough time, it started feeling better. As a matter of fact, like three days, three, four days later, it made a marked improvement in feeling better. And right now, I would have to say I'm about 70 to 80% back. I know it's not 100% back, I just know that. I, I, I tore it, I didn't pull it, I tore it. So I know it's gonna take a lot longer to heal. Um, did a light workout today. We then do some yard work, clean the house, and not a problem. It's a little stiff, but it's not anything like it used to be. So I learned a lot. I learned that you could sprain, strain muscles in the lower back along with the potential of um, sciatic nerve disc herniation. I mean, there are different things that can happen in the lower back. But I also learned through both of those experiences that you can rehab them and come back 100%. You just have to be very aware of what the problem is, what the actual situation is, and do the rehab protocols that make a world of difference. In this case, with muscle strain, muscle tear, muscle pull, it's ice. You can use, um, you could probably use ibuprofen, but I, I was very successful with ice, and I highly recommend that if you can. If you have a herniated disc, a lot of traction, TBA, reactivation, that's a topic for another day. Both of those protocols work very, very well for diminishing the pain and coming back to full functional capacity. So anyway, to show you, after my yard work today, I did that. I got a little bit of ice, I'm putting it on my lower back, just to be uh, proactive in getting the inflammation down before it becomes an issue. As a matter of fact, even when my back feels better uh, over the course of the next several weeks, I'm still going to be icing it probably once a day, just to be on the safe side, get that inflammation down, get it to relax, and get it to fully heal over the course of time. So, I want to wrap it up with that. Don't be afraid of lower back pain if you have it. There are things you can do about it. You can come back to full functional capacity. I'm 100% certain of that in most cases. Sometimes if you have a herniated disc, it could be so bad you may need surgery. But still, before you go down that road, check some of these other protocols out. In this case, ice worked very well for me. Thank you very much. Have a good day.